Hey Virgo, what's going on? I hope everything is going well. Thank you so much for clicking on your reading. Let's go ahead and get into this. So this reading can resonate however, romantic, work, friendship, family, okay? So um, whatever situation it seems um, akin to, it probably is, okay? So Virgo, I asked what the current phase or what's the situation uh, with you and whoever this is on your mind and it's full moon and Scorpio energy it's time to release negativity okay um, so a number of you this could be a Scorpio um, you and this person may have a strong Scorpio placement okay Sun moon rising Venus okay you don't have to be a Virgo Sun to watch this reading obviously right so and your person with how you look at them they show up as you know water okay eight of cups dolphin um, even with self-love I'm still trying to heal I'm getting like very like water sign vibes here okay and um, a number of you, I just heard this too. This person may be in their Saturn return. Okay. So they could be 29. This person could also be, um, what is it? 58. Okay. Just around those ages, whoever this is. All right. And they could be older too. I'm not sure. They could be older than that. They could be in their third Saturn return. Um, you never know. Right. So, yeah, I'm getting that. And this is also um, Saturn in Pisces, which Saturn is in. And we're in a Saturn retrograde. So let's come back to that, okay? Whatever is going on here, this situation, I definitely feel like you're looking at your person like they're going th through some sort of major change in their life, okay? Okay. Um, Scorpio talks about transformation, endings, rebirth, right? Death and rebirth. Full moon and Scorpio energy is very intense. Okay. It's highlighting an area, just like it says, like an area that needs to be, I'm getting forgiveness. Okay. So there may be an energy of forgiveness involved. Maybe your person is needing to, um, accept and um release the past okay you could be you know um looking at them with that type of energy scorpio i mean not Scorpio, virgo <laughs> well there's definitely a scorpio here right um so let's so okay to f kind of flow into that your person is showing up a lot with this. Well, at least how you're looking at them. Um, they're definitely showing up with this kind of energy. Okay. Because they have the eight of cups, the eight of cups talks about walking away from some sort of like long-term situation, letting go of the past, accepting some sort of or, or that a cycle is completed. All right. But the eight of cups is a sad card. All right. Um, yeah, it is. It, with the eight, it could be karmic, right? Because Scorpio is associated with karma as well. So I feel like your person is getting out of maybe some sort of karmic situation, but it was painful or it is painful for them to walk away from it. And they have, you know, self-love here. I'm still trying to heal. Okay. So you're looking at them like they're starting some sort of healing journey. Okay. They're healing from some sort of past situation. And a number of you Virgo, I'm sorry if I called you Scorpio again, a number of you Virgo feel like you're, um, 
a part of this person's new path. You're a part of this person's healing journey because you look at them with the dolphin energy. And one of the things that it says about the dolphin is to bring back into balance, connect with like-minded spirits, like-minded individuals. Okay. Kindred, you know, you may feel like you and this person are kindred spirits. So yeah, you definitely look at this person like I feel, um, you know, if you look, this person's walking towards the light. Okay. They could be on a path of enlightenment, especially with the dolphin energy. All right. Also Virgo, if this person is showing up with the dolphin, a lot of you may look at this person like a blessing. Okay. And dolphin types are said to be a blessing and they tend to actually underestimate themselves. Okay. Because dolphins, um, it says when you come into contact with a dolphin type, they change the course of your day, the entire course of your day and thus your life. So a lot of you are looking at this person like they have changed your life. When they came into your life, it was, it was definitely a blessing or coming into your life right now. It's a blessing. All right. So, um, yeah, I'm getting like queen of cups energy here with how you look at this person. So this person definitely could be a healer of some sort, but they're also on their own healing journey as well. Now, um, when this person looks at you, Virgo, they look at you with, um, values. We have too many differences. King of Pentacles. All right. Right away. Maybe they feel like there's some sort of. I'm getting tradition here. Okay, Virgo. And this doesn't make them right, but this is their perception or how they're looking at you in the connection right now. For some of you, this person may feel like you value money. All right. Not that there's anything wrong with valuing money, but maybe they're hmm, feeling like you value work or money more than them. And I'll tell you why I say that because of this right here on a, yeah, that makes sense. Obviously really quickly, whoever this is, then their thoughts and feelings. I love you. So for a number of you, this person absolutely loves you. Okay. Um, if this is romantic Virgo, you know, this person sees you as their husband, as their wife. All right. Their long-term partner. So definitely, you know, um, I'm seeing that. I want to come back to this. All right. To now that, you know, we're, we're sitting here talking. Okay. <laughs> but Yes. Something I'm hearing is a number of you, this person may feel like you're very, like you're loyal to yourself and you're loyal to your career. You know, you value your stability, your comfort. Okay. And they also may look at you like, like you have anxiety revolving around that. Okay. So gazelle energy is someone who is worried about the future. All right. I'm getting that. And it can be that you are, it, it's a, it says borderline, like hypervigilant. Okay. Um, worried about maybe, you know, what's going to happen. And that could, maybe they feel like that's what you're always thinking about. You're always thinking about like, you know, finances and, you know, career and work and stability. Like that is on the forefront. That's what you care about. Okay. Right now, this doesn't mean that all the time, but this is just, I feel like how they're seeing you right now. Um, 
And yes, like that's your primary focus. But let's go back over here, right? What they want with you right now is the Queen of Pentacles. And I feel, Virgo, this person wants to feel like you value them. You value, you know, their, you, you almost like, why do I feel Virgo? You're not like this person feels like you're not giving them enough attention. Um, yeah, I feel like this person sees their worth. I do. All right. Especially with the self-love with how you're looking at them. I do because they love them. This person loves himself enough Virgo to say, you know, Hey, like, I'm on a healing journey and you absolutely look at this person like a blessing. I almost feel like they, like this person would love to know that you do look at them like that you do. Um, I feel like um, a number of you, and hold on. Hold that thought with the queen of pentacles, a number of you, because you have the two of pentacles here, Virgo, a number of you could be juggling a lot. Okay. And you're trying to figure out what's the best. You may have a lot on your plate. You could be trying to balance out your time, Virgo, with, with work and career. You know, it definitely does look like you've got, you know, um, cause this is Capricorn energy. You've got money on your mind. You've got a number of things, maybe even on your plate here. Okay. <sighs> yeah. And that's what I think, you know, I kind of get like this person is interpreting that with lack of attention. Okay. Cause they're looking at you like you're paying a lot of attention to other things. You're valuing other things, but in, and with them too, what I'm getting with them is they're not going to, and they may feel now that I'm seeing how you look at them, they may seem distant. Okay with the eight of cups, you may, you could tell me Virgo where you're like, I do feel like this person seems emotionally kind of withdrawn. Okay. I don't think, uh, but I still, I get the same, I get what I was getting before. They're going through something and you know it, you know, they're going through some, um, something emotional right now. They're experiencing, they're releasing. Um, they are, they're, they, they are going through a phase of releasing negativity. Okay. This person doesn't want to go anywhere, Virgo. They... They don't want to have to also what I'm hearing is like go out of their way. Hold on, I'm getting detaching here. If there was something here that this person was emotionally attached about in this connection, I hope this makes sense. You're looking at them like they're letting something go, like they're letting that go. Okay. But maybe there's something having to do with forgiveness with you, Virgo. Okay, hold on. I think this person is saying, sorry, I'm just getting like a lot of messages. I feel like this person is saying, I'm not going to beg. I don't want to have to like go out of my way to show Virgo, Hey, value me. Okay. Um, 
it's like, I'll be here, but maybe I want Virgo to recognize my worth without me like shouting it or screaming it like, Hey, I'm worthy, you know? Um, with you, I'm looking at with your thoughts and feelings with, um, you make me feel like a kid again. So I kind of need to ask the energy of that. Clarify you make me feel like a kid again. Virgo's thoughts and feelings about who this is. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Family. Maybe, I don't know, Virgo. <laughs> I'm getting marriage, kids. You know, there could be something involving kids. Okay. It's, you know, this, I don't know. This could, I don't know. Hold on. Wow, two of cups just flipped over. <sighs> Maybe this person may have expressed something to you. Look, I love you, okay? Virgo, this person may ex have expressed something to you that you're having to kind of like sit with. You're, you're trying to understand it with the two of pentacles because you, you are deciding what's best for you. So a part of like what I see is they are, this person's partly correct. Okay. You are right now valuing your comfort. Well, with how they're seeing two of pentacles is someone who wants to do what's best for them. So you are trying to make a decision like what is best for you. Okay. And a number of you, this person possibly has come to you with the dolphin spirit. And that's why you look at them with this energy. Something about this is taking you back to your childhood. Um, but there's also, okay, I'm getting like kindred spirits here with the two of cups. Look at the colors, okay? There's a soulmate connection here. Some of you are connected through like through a soul, all right? So literally a child. You could be connected with this person through a child, all right? Hmm. A number of you, maybe, I don't know. You were with this person at one point. Definitely getting soulmate connection. Um, you're, it's like, you're, you're feeling though, like you need to make some sort of decision here. You need to decide what's best for you. I'm getting, um, a torn energy with this. Okay. Almost like you're needing to decide between stability, tradition, oh, values, values, tradition, or love, a relationship, a commitment. Yes, I get a very torn energy here and it may, it like kids, children, family may be involved. Okay. Yeah, Virgo, a number of you may be juggling a lot here. And I'm hearing breadwinner. A number of you could be the breadwinner. You you know, you're, you are like the head of household. You've got a lot going on here. 
And but over here, whoever this is, they're going through their own stuff. And I think you know it. But with them, you know, being being by your side or being seen as your equal or a person that is valuable to you is important to them. Okay. Like being seen by you. Does that make sense? I'm hearing somebody's not going anywhere. Whoever this is, isn't going anywhere, Virgo. They're not. Okay. You may feel like you're on your own here, but you're not. That's what I'm hearing to tell you. You're not on your own because um, I'm hearing. What's that? What's that song by Sade? Where she's like, you think I leave your side, baby. You know me better than that. You think I leave you down while you're down on your knees. I wouldn't do that. That's what I'm hearing. That's the song I'm hearing. Yeah. Wow. Some of you may look at this person with the eight of cups. Like you think they're leaving, but they're not, they're not going to leave. Whoever this is, is not leaving. I don't know who this is, but they're not going anywhere. They love you. Yeah. Wherever this is. And they, yeah. Mm -mm. All right. They're not going anywhere. They love you. Ooh, all right. Well, there we go. <laughs> I know that was like a, a like bunch of information. Sorry, guys. I really like. I just get, I have seen a lot of messages. Um, oh, Virgo. I feel like you're kind of like you're you're all over the place. Ay, ay, ay. I get it. I get it. I get it. So many responsibilities. What do I do? All right, guys, so feel free to like, let me get these. Oh, man, I saw a little, little portion of these. Uh, these flowers aren't all that great, y'all, because Jax was in the backyard yesterday. Now, granted, we had a good time. He was getting rose petals and pretending like it was food and feeding them to me, you know. But then I go to get some roses, you know, because the other ones were kind of want womp And um, I was like, damn. Pickens, pickings are slim back here, <laughs> but it's all good. All right. So gives it like a bit of a vintage look, you know? Um, all right. So, cause they're not all, they're not perfect, but it's all good. Still pretty. I think. Okay, Virgo. So let's get into part two. I'm about to pull the cards. Some of y'all know the drill. I'm going to say it anyway. You'll still, you'll see it pop up on the screen. Okay. So part two is going to be on Vimeo. Okay. Then. Okay. Part two come through. Part two is like, let me out. Yep. A new romantic cycle begins. Okay. All right. New moon in Libra. All right, Virgo. So um, part two is on Vimeo. The link is in the description, top of the comments. Obviously, I'm about to pull the cards to give you a preview of what we start diving into. I clarify these cards in the extended, um, you know, more about what happens next. We talk about what your person wants overall, Virgo, in this connection. Um, what do they think is going to happen? What outcome do I get with you two? Okay. Outside of, you know, I know what we talked about here, but it just goes further into where the energy is headed and where I see all of it going. And then um, we're going to talk about, yes, the outcome I get. I'm going to pull from the Time Oracle deck, give you a timeline of forward movement, what that looks like, Virgo. And then we're going to pull your advice from the Crystal Spirits deck and the Animal Spirit deck in this situation. Okay, what are you being advised to do? How are you being advised to show up in this connection? All right, Virgo. Here we go. Can you please show me? Okay, here we go. You see this person as indecisive. I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. Oh, definitely could be a Libra. <laughs> Shade. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just joking. You know, that's a running joke, man. Libras are scales. They're always trying to make up their mind. Um, now that's how you look at them. 
that doesn't mean that's how they are, right? Okay. Coming up next, this person sees you in your ego. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. Okay. Now keep in mind, there could be a conversation going on about this next, but we'll see. Uh, sometimes when the phase pops up, it's like the universe saying, well, you know, the energy is full of potential for a new beginning. Does that mean that you all have it? Maybe not, but the potential is there, right? It's air, it's communication, okay? So yeah, the potential is there for you all to have some sort of new start. You all could be settling things, you know? Did I just see the Queen of Swords? Because she was on my mind just right now. I think I did. Yep, Queen of Swords, Libra. All right. Okay, here we go. Virgo, wow, you see this person. Look at the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Is that the Two of Cups still? Yep. Virgo, you really do. Okay, so you're seeing this person with the Ten of Cups. Happiness. <sighs> do you think this person's like happy without you? Because I don't think so. You may look at them like that, but I don't know. Um... But yeah, I mean, you could look at this person with the Ten of Cups because you're daydreaming about your future with them. Okay. Okay. This person seeing you with the Five of Pentacles. Sorry about Coco, y'all. Her little cute self. Yeah, this person, it's almost like you're feeling left out in the cold. All right. That's what I was kind of getting with you looking at them. Hmm. It's almost like you're. <sighs> hmm. I don't know. Hold on. Okay. Coming up next, what they want, Knight of Pentacles. Well, I mean, it's not the queen of pentacles, but it's still forward movement. Like this person still sees forward movement with you. They want consistency. Knight of pentacles is about, you know, still um, wanting a successful outcome with you. This is also your energy too. Maybe they want you to lead the way. Does. Okay. The Ace of Swords, you're looking for complete clarity. Um, you're allowing, like Ace of Swords is um, allowing the information to come through. A number of you are like wanting a sign. Sometimes I look at the Ace of Swords like I need a sign. I want a sign. Show me... Um, it's like submission. Like I'm ready to, to kind of, I'm, I'm ready for my higher self to show me, you know, ready for God to show me, like, show me the light, show me the way. Okay. And it's interesting because I'm saying it's almost like this person wants you to lead the way. All right. Hold on. You see this person as the eagle. That's my Libra card. Now, Libra, uh, Lib, Libra, let's Libra and eagle together. Eagle card is somebody who goes for what they want. All right, I'll clarify that more. That is, remember I said communication. So yeah, I'm getting communication here. So this may have to do with you showing up with this Ace of Swords. It's almost like you could be saying here, like, I want complete clarity. Like, I want to know exactly what it is. You could be like, I'm tired of the back and forth. All 
Yeah. Wow. This is my six of pentacles card. So yeah, Virgo, this person seeing you with the crocodile spirit, crocodile spirit is somebody who kind of like uh, lays low and is resting, reserving their energy. Okay. And not giving a whole lot of information. So yeah, I see you like, or the way they're looking at you is not really opening up a whole lot. Okay. Now, Crocodile is also very strategic, okay? And we'll talk more about that. Um, do I want to take it? Yes. Um, thank you for teaching me what real love is. Hmm. All right, and their thoughts and feelings with you coming up next. I am. I don't know. I'm getting this person. I feel like a new romantic cycle. It's almost like you both are going to come to some sort of decision. Okay. Let's see. Where goes thoughts and feelings next about who this is. I have so much passion and desire for you. It drives me mad. <laughs> and your thoughts and feelings about who this is coming up next. So Virgo, I'm going to continue this over on Vimeo. Like I said, the link is in the description, top of the comments. Um, I'll see some of you over there. If this is where we part ways, love you guys. Be safe. Take it easy. I'll see you soon. Peace.